friends welcome back to my channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba and i create content about life in canada immigrating to canada and anything that will be useful to anybody who sees my videos and if this is the first time you actually seen my video i'll say a very big thank you and request that you subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload my video you will be amongst the first people to know that i have uploaded a video i also want to say thank you to every one of my subscribers who have been with me from day one for supporting me supporting my channel encouraging me even when it is stressful i thank you i appreciate you all and today's topic is not immigration related i did immigration the whole of last week but today i just want to talk about something that happens in canada I have lived in Canada for about three and a half years now. This is my fourth year in Canada. And there is something I have observed about uh, the occupations and careers in Canada. Back in my home country, I was um, a human resources professional. I had a bit of administration, a bit of supply chain management and some other occupations that you know was mixed into one you know where sometimes where you work in some places you are jack of all trades in your home country and then you come to canada you find yourself in a situation where you just have to choose one career and focus on that career and grow on that career now the thing about it is that sometimes when you choose one particular career you find out that it doesn't pay as much as you want it to pay it doesn't pay so well and Although the career satisfaction, the job satisfaction is there, but the financial satisfaction is not there. And this is what causes a lot of people to just switch careers because there is no satisfaction. Another thing that makes people switch careers in Canada is because of the opportunities that are available. Sometimes there are some occupations in Canada that have very few opportunities that are available, while there are some that have so many, so many opportunities out there. And once you just start in that line, you're able to um, move up faster and earn more money. The third reason why people switch careers in Canada is because of the money. The money is a major factor in most cases because you will not want to be working somewhere where you're not well paid. And even if you're passionate about the job, in some cases, you might not be happy because you're not earning well. I'll give a typical example for early childhood educators. Early childhood educators, um, they are not well paid in Canada and compared to teachers. Teachers are well paid, but early childhood educators are not well paid in Canada. And that is one reason where people actually leave the job and then look for something better to do or upgrade their licensing and become teachers in schools. Another major thing I'll talk about switching careers is um, occupations that are usually always in demand that are well paid and this is very particular for nursing so you find a lot of people who had different professions back in their home country some were um, actually administrative officers some were lawyers some were accountants and then all of a sudden when they came to canada they discovered that these occupations do not pay well and these occupations are not always in demand. There's always struggle in the job market. So they decide to switch to careers that are always in demand like nursing. So you find most immigrants who just come and all of a sudden say, you know what, I don't think I'll continue um, staying in the job market, applying for jobs and blah, blah, blah. Let me just quickly go and start nursing. And you find a lot of people studying nursing, even if they are not passionate about the healthcare uh, profession, but they see that the healthcare profession is always, always, always in demand in Canada and most developed countries is always in demand and they are well paid. You see a lot of people switching careers into nursing um, because of the demand and because of the finance that is involved. So for a registered nurse, a fresh graduate who just graduated from school as a registered nurse is earning as much as $74,000, $75,000 Whereas their counterpart who just graduated from accounting and maybe doesn't have a CPA, the person is earning like $50,000. So you can see the difference in, in earnings and this is what makes people decide to go into the healthcare profession to, um, you know, be in, a, in an occupation that is always in demand where they know that their jobs are sustained for a long period of time and they will not be replaced by anything. There will be no layoffs no matter what, even if 
they decide to leave their job to say, okay, you know what, I don't want to do nursing again. There are still other aspects of nursing that they can go into that is not as demanding as nursing itself, and they will still be earning well. So you find a lot of immigrants coming to Canada and just make up their mind once to say, you know what, I won't waste my time going to get a, a professional certification in human resources or a professional certification in supply chain management or accounting or whatever. I'll just go straight to nursing. The reason they are going into nursing directly is because it is always in demand. It's not affected by the situation of the economy. There is always demand for nurses and you find a lot of people, you know, actually going towards that profession compared to other profession. And the aspect of finances as well, the nursing career pays so well compared to other occupations and that's why you find people wanting to do nursing. So um this is for anybody planning to come to canada and if you feel that your occupation back at home is not paying you well and you are confused on what to do which career is going to pay you well it's better you make up your mind on what you want to do although there are occupations that pay well but you know the competition is always high there are so many accountants there are so many business analysts there are so many human resources professionals there are so many supply chain management professionals. There are so many of them out there who are uh, kind of looking for job opportunities. But there are occupations that will always be in demand that are looking for people. So it's now more like you go after an occupation that will always be there and they will search for you. Or do, do you go for an occupation where you have to search for jobs by yourself? So these are the factors that make people actually change professions. And I know somebody, um, he's a friend of mine, he studied accounting, he had also almost completed his CPA, and he just woke up one day and decided to switch to medicine. So there are people like that who just dare the situation and say, you know what, Canada is a land where I can start all over again and give myself five years, ten years. I will be better in terms of um, finances, in terms of um, being an, in an occupation that is always highly in demand. You know, these are the reasons that make people switch careers. Another occupation that is that is also always in demand is the IT industry. The IT industry is seriously in demand in Canada at the moment, and they are looking for lots and lots and lots of tech workers, software developers, because the world is changing and a lot of things are switching to technology. So a lot of people are actually looking for people who have these technical skills. So if you are outside of Canada and your occupation is not in these areas, when you come to Canada, there's always this temptation to like shelve what you're used to and start something entirely different, totally different, totally new uh, for two reasons. One, because the occupations are always in demand and two, because of the money the finances and of course everybody wants to live comfortably in Canada you will not want to come to Canada and be struggling or start struggle for years five years six years ten years down the line you're still in the same profession and it's not paying you well so why not just switch careers to something that's going to pay you well and you will still find satisfaction in helping humanity so this is the information I want to share for anybody out there planning to come to Canada if you are undecided about what to do with your career um you can actually switch careers and start your life all over again and you'll be happier you did thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye